Hello everyone, it is Jane here from Mrs Reds and I will be talking through this artwork that I'm doing today. It is a ink jellyfish. So uh, I'm about to start drawing up the body of the jellyfish now. I'm using a watercolour block pad. So uh, once the artwork is completely finished, you peel it off from all four sides. Um, and this is great for um, the block pad not, or the paper not warping uh, while you're actually applying water and paint or ink as it is today. Uh, so I've just, uh, there we go, there's the Liquitex ink that we're using. Uh, I'm just giving that a quick shake and then I'm going to be putting water onto the brush and putting water down onto the paper first because for the head or the body of the jellyfish I want it to be uh, the color to be a little bit weaker um, so that's what I'm doing here now this um, the contents that I'm using today is actually in the October 19 reds art cart which is a monthly subscription art box uh, so everyone received one of the Liquitex muted inks. There's five muted colours in the range. This one being the pink, uh, looking a little bit more like the colour of a, a good bottle of red wine, if you ask me. So I've applied that down, and as you can now see, I've actually dried that area as well. Um, and then about to repeat the process, uh, putting the ink, uh, sorry, the water down first and then applying the ink to it as well. And then here doing the body of the tentacle area. I don't know the actual name for this, but basically I've just put water down again and that wet area of the, un, uh, sort of like the belly of the jellyfish is just starting to leak down into that uh, new fresh patch of water. And we've got a little bit of a slight uh, camera problem um, here now as well. There will be a stage where the jellyfish is out of focus, which is about now. The camera has decided to focus on the rim of the water container. Uh, so for the rest of this little bit, it is a little bit out of focus. Uh, not something that I can help because my eyes are at the drawing, not looking at the camera and seeing if uh, the the focus is on the right part and I wasn't going to redo this of course or leave it out either um, so now I have gone back to the dried area and and the the bottom part is now dry as well but I'm now applying more ink to the top of the jellyfish uh, just to strengthen that color deepen it and I don't think I'm using any water on the brush at all now. So it's not yet anyway. Um, so I'm dipping that brush straight into uh, the Liquitex ink. And there we can see there, I am adding a little bit of water to the brush and just softening the lines. This is where you use the uh, paper towel a lot as well because you don't wanna have excess water on your brush. Uh, just enough to be able to rub um, just soften those those little ink lines um, ink compared to watercolor ink won't lift once you put more damp or dampness down onto it so you'll see when we're doing the tentacles of the jellyfish that the uh, the ink that's already down won't start bleeding into new areas Thank you. 
still getting a little bit of interference from that water container at the moment but uh, I've sped the uh, video up about 300% so it's not too fast this process of uh, just applying depth to your drawing um, does take a little bit of time so it would have been roughly about 10 minutes of work here that uh, I'm working at just getting it darker and darker and darker and as you'll see in the final result um, that time of just letting the color seep in does um, pay off and, and it's it's also just so um, relaxing to do as well the this illustration has been done over two uh, different times the, when it's being done now, it was actually a very wet day here on the Gold Coast and quite a cold day too, given that we're now in October and coming into our summer. So it was absolutely beautiful to be inside uh, and doing something that I absolutely love. I, I'm a big fan of watercolours, ink, um, and then applying a pen afterwards as well. There's just something about the adding water to your paint and your ink that I just love myself personally. So the secret behind what I'm doing now, I'm actually putting more water down onto that body of the, um, the jellyfish. And that's because I'm doing the background tentacles first. So when they hit the uh, water area, they're obviously going to fade into that blubbery bit of the jellyfish. Uh, my scientific terms, the blubbery bit. Uh, you know what I mean. So... Once the back tentacles have been done, I will dry the artwork again so that the front tentacles don't start blending into uh, the, the blubber of the jellyfish as well. I'm not sure if it will actually show. Oh, now I'm getting all finicky and getting back to the, the underbody of the jellyfish again. All right, so I have completely dried the paper again, so we've got no wet ink at all, so that I can do the front tentacles. And this way the ink won't start bleeding into that uh, middle part of the, the jellyfish blubber. Um, and it will be just a bit more defined lines that we're creating as well. Um, now I'll also explain about the brush in a second, because I move on to the background pretty quickly I think um, and I obviously dry this before I start on the background yeah so it's now dried I've picked up the largest brush that I uh, received in the art cart now I'm putting water down again and I'm just going to put a really 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 faint wash down in the background I didn't want it to be uh, the color of the paper for the background I still wanted to have tones of that muted pink and I uh, really love how this has worked out. So with ink as opposed to watercolour the fact that I am now putting wet 
down onto, well, when I go into the tentacle area, I will be putting wet down over those already dry tentacles. The water will not move that. It won't let it bleed, it won't move it, it won't weaken it, nothing. Um, and you'll also see that the water that I'm putting down now is tending to look a little bit pink. That has come off the brush and also the water in the bucket, not from the artwork. It just it, You can see that there's a, a, a very faint tinge of pink happening, but I actually did want that to happen. And then at the end of the illustration, you'll see that I just drop pure ink down onto um, the artwork right at the end, and you'll get that intensity of the of the um, how dark that muted pink can go. All right, so I have dried it now, obviously. Just put my hands all over it. Uh, so that's how dark I wanted that background to go. I didn't want it to take over by any means. So I'm going to go back to um, a bit of music for you now because I'm pretty much doing the doodling. I will mention though, the pen that everyone's received in the art cart is a Zig Millennium and it's a 005 nib. So the 005 is the finest nib I think of any pen. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if you can actually get a finer nib than a 005. It is really fine and if you don't have a lot of experience with drawing pens I wouldn't recommend starting a full-on drawing with a 005 to begin with because the nib is so fragile that you'll probably snap it um, they are they are incredibly fine little nibs and having done a lot of illustration like this before because this is just my thing um, inks, watercolours and doodling over the top is, is definitely my passion. Uh, I am not applying any pressure to that pen at all. I am literally letting it touch the surface of the paper and, um, and just letting it do its thing. And you, they're so fine, these nibs, that you can barely even see what I'm doing there. Um, I will show you at the end of the video, I do a close-up of the artwork. Um, but just yeah just doing the doodling on top of the jellyfish at the moment with the black pen and then I move on to the uni paint marker which is a gold one for me um, but everyone received either gold silver or white in those ones so I'll uh, put a bit more music back on now So I'm just finishing up here with the gold uh, paint pen and then I just go back to the Zig Millennium again. Um, one thing I didn't mention before with the Zig is also their, their pens are all 100% waterproof which is fantastic meaning that if you do want to apply a little bit more water to your drawing you can do it won't leak at all. Uh, now I'm just finishing this and then I go on to doing the three drops which is a bit of a signature style of mine as well um, with the Liquitex ink again. I'm about a meter above 
when I do the drops, which is why the second drop ends up on the table, there we go, rather than the paper, uh, just so that I get a really good splash effect happening. And it shows you the depth of that color of that ink, how dark it can go. So thank you. I hope you have enjoyed watching this uh, video of the watered down ink being used. And um, if you'd like more information about the subscription art carts, just go to the website. The link will be at the end of this video, but basically it's mrsreds.com.au. Thanks very much and I will see you again in another video. Bye bye.